Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode on our single player world. We are in this area again today, and we are going to be building something which I mentioned in the last episode, and I've actually got a few suggestions other than mine, but I think we're going to still stick with mine because I kind of, I've got this idea and I want to do it, which is just behind here, this area right over there. Uh, we are going to be building ourselves a new mansion type house there, just a, not a huge one, but it's going to be larger than your average house, and I want it to look kind of interesting and grand, I guess. Uh, the other stuff that we're going to get going on is, I'll show you what I've done in between the episodes. I've been thinking of this area here, and my perspective on this, well, my thought on this, is that despite the fact that this is a bunch of land in here, just ignore that, and pretend like we're walking through a city with all these kinds of alleyways going here. So you can see this over here will be an alleyway, over here will be one, and they'll all interconnect. But you'll still be able to see the sunlight, if you understand what I'm what I'm saying here. So we'll have houses here, and we'll just walk through and we'll see everything from a different perspective. And I think it'll be a nice, fun way of building, and we will find out about that, of course. And now, the first thing that I want to get started on is up here, though. And that is right around here. This area, I wanted to originally put another building here, but we're not going to have space, obviously, with all this here. So I thought perhaps what we can do is just make this all this sort of thing, like a lookout kind of area, walk around here, and then we'll have this area here connecting up to these with stairs. So in fact, we might have some... No, we don't have stairs. Uh, but yeah, that, that spot over there is going up to our... Let me show you. Going up to our bridge across here. So if we had stairs going down here, it'll connect this up nicely. And right around here, we've got our little bridge which looks out over the city and I love this little this little run that you can just see this whole long thing going on here and eventually ending over there I think it's a really cool little I don't know a little viewpoint <laughs> uh, so down here is where I'm storing all of our stuff for now we will want to get ourselves some of those and I think that'll be alright for us to do our stairs quickly the idea by the way with this is that we we're not going to make it completely white like what we've done before with our uh, uh, Bone blocks, I'm still going to use them, but just I'm going to try and avoid them to some extent because we have used them quite a bit and I don't want to go too, too crazy. So let's do that a bit. We'll do, in fact, we'll put those in our offhand. So we'll go, let's just eat that quick. There. And do we want to come down one more? And then I want to have ourselves a little bit of a thing here, like this. Yeah, that'll work. We could actually do the stairs going here and then walking up there. That could be a thing. Oh, ooh, we gotta actually work this out quickly. If we do this here, so let's just get these out of the way because we have to account for this wall, so we can't can't get to be too hasty in this. So we do that there. That'll have to be in there. And this one over here. So we might have to do that other way. I think we will have to do the other way. Let's just build up quickly. Uh, there, there. Yeah, we don't have much space to work around here. So we could actually do it this way, but it, instead of using walls here, we can maybe do some stairs upside down like this and that will give the illusion that it's not too much space being taken up there so we could do it like that we can have some stairs going up from here and there up onto this area right here and then we can just kind of work it away our way around there that could work i hope although let's see it from the bottom yeah that'll work that's not taking up that much space in fact it creates a nice little interesting uh, view over there, nice kind of shape. Yeah, I don't mind that. Good, so that is the rough thing that we're doing over there. It's not, not a finished product. Now we can get going on the actual thing that we want to do for today, which is over here. And I just think it'll be good to plan out before we build, because obviously that's always a good idea. We'll get those in our hand and we will start planning out from here. We've got the ability to build on this, but I don't think we're going to. I'm perhaps going to build uh, from here. That's... Man. There we go. Uh, so, from here, 
what's that? Five to there. Yep, good. And then we can go, what would be diagonal from there? Diagonal would actually be here. So, I mean, we could do that. Like that. We'll, we'll have to get rid of these and work out the roof, but that could work. So, like a little diagonal piece over there. And there. That will work out, and we can get some of those on there. So, we do that. Okay. That could be a thing. And we'll go out here as well. We can get rid of this one. Go out here like that. And check how this looks, shape-wise. I feel like this would have to actually be there. And there. Yeah. So there and there, if that goes up, there'll be a nice corner to have. Then we can go out this way, and we can put this out... Another five, one, two, three, four, and five. There we go. And that one there. And how's how would that be shape-wise? That seems like it should be enough space for us to work with. And of course, we're going to want to have this house over here working in with this stuff here. So my thought was perhaps because this is going to be kind of boring, we could have ourselves, well, if we don't do anything <laughs> with it special, uh, we can maybe have some stairs going up here that wrap around to the house on the top. So you kind of walk up the stairs enter down into the house which will be quite a nice little thing to add in a bit of intrigue and I don't know it just it just looks kind of cool like that so what I want to do is I'll put, build up a bit of that just because it's going to take a bit of time for me to work out and we'll go ahead and add in some floors and stuff and get get a bit more done on this alrighty so there it is guys I think it's looking a lot oh man I'm already messing up I think it's looking <laughs> a lot bigger a lot smaller than what I thought it would but uh it's a good size I think though looking at that come on Get up there. Perfect. All right, I think that's looking all right. Uh, I haven't done too, too much. Obviously, I just did the shaping and the roof and the uh, that sort of stuff. Uh, but yeah, we're going to get going on some other stuff now because I feel like we can do this house pretty easily. I want to maybe just put in a window over here before we do go and we'll leave this for this episode and come back to it. I actually see something that I want to change right now, though. <laughs> Aside from that, uh, let's go there and there. And just under here, I feel like if we added some of those... That would be a nice little addition to that area there. Yeah, that's good. Perfect. So we'll add in a window quick. But what I want to do is I want to discuss another thing, which came as a suggestion uh, in the comments. Actually, it's come a few times, but this came recently, and it just uh, reminded me and prompted me uh, for an idea for this area here. Better stay there. Uh, this area, we can perhaps make a little bit of a park over here. Just a, a small one overlooking this way. We've got one over there. Uh, let's just kind of picture it out here, just make sure we're not being silly building one of these over there. But, yeah, I, um, I'm pretty happy to build a park there. Then we could do another row of houses or something at the back there, and we'll kind of see how this all matches together. And then next episode, by the way, I definitely want to get into the market area, because we are busy building a market area, and we have to make sure that we uh, don't lose track of what our goal is, which is to build a market. So we will we'll go back to that. For sure in the next episode. Let's just do that, that, and by the way, this is not finished. The uh, texturing and stuff, ignore that. That's just, that hasn't been textured. Just <laughs> don't judge it. Uh, so we'll do that there, and there. Perfect, so we've got these stairs walking up this way. Door coming in here. That's what we're looking at, okay? So it's less of a mansion, more of a big, small house. And now what we're going to do is we're going to come down here, I think, and we're just going to build up a little bit more. I uh, shouldn't do that there and should we leave it just maybe we'll do another one I didn't mean to do those but that's all right cool so we'll do that and do that there and we'll make a little bit of a railing over here as well which we will have to use do we have some of those perfect do this over here and what I want to put in this park is just a few trees maybe not not huge trees but uh just trees that are appropriate for the size. I've got too much stuff in my inventory. Let's go down here. Yeah, just uh, maybe a small oak or a small spruce or whatever we all... I know spruce, um, oak tree or small birch. Uh, maybe get rid of some of these here. Those in there. And now we can get some fences. Perfect. All right. 
So the next thing we're going to have to do is grab this box here. Perfect. And the other green box, which is over here. That's what we need for this park, which will be great. And I'm also going to put maybe a little bench in it or something like that, just to make it a little bit more lively. Uh, if this pig stays, that'll be great. There and... Perfect. In fact, we could even try maybe a few uh, fence gates and see how they look over here. I hope he's not tracking me. Good. Good. Okay, let's, let's get going on a tree for now. So we'll need this one out over here. And get grab some of those. And then we'll need to also get the... Those. There. Perfect. Alright, so we'll keep this ground kind of uneven. We we'll might have to change a little bit of it. Uh, but this one's going to be a kind of smallish tree. Um, we'll go out there, that way, that way, and there. Perfect. So if you guys were wondering how I um, how I do my custom trees, if ever for some reason you guys thought about that, uh, I tend to build my custom trees with a bit more uh, thought than what I would imagine I would normally have done, which is I, I build a bit of branches like this, like the way I've done these branches, I've built a few of these. And then I use them to kind of shape the tree the way I want to. So I'll, I'll, for instance, do a branch like that. Now I know exactly where I want to put leaves on this tree. I know I want to put leaves in this direction here. I want to put some over here. And we'll do this just one more out there. Four is generally good. I mean, it does kind of sometimes look a little bit square, but that's all right. We'll, we'll work it out if it does. So I like to do that there and then just kind of shape the trees around like that. Maybe come out a little bit more. That creeper's gonna get me, I guarantee you that creeper's gonna gonna track us any second now. There, there. Come on, look at me. I know I know it's gonna. So we'll do this here, and I kind of just I like to get these edges looking good by the way. Just get the edges in a like good distance out from where I think that they should be, and then I can check whether or not I've gone too far, whether I've gone too close, how high it's gonna be, because these are all important things when you build a tree, by the way. Uh, if you don't get this right, you're just going to be building and then tearing down or building and having a horrible looking tree if you don't tear it down. It's just it's just better off. Your life will be so much easier doing this little thing that I do here. Trust me. So we do that. There, there, there. And some over here. And some over there. Perfect. And I think that this will look alright. Let's just double check ourselves. And... Yeah, that'll be good. That'll be a good size. Uh, maybe we'll just stop there. Perfect. And now we can just add a little bit of uh, bushiness to these trees. Like there. Th there. In fact, we'll make this a little bit more. Yeah, there he is. Yep, you're gonna go be dead in a few seconds, Creeper, so don't, don't get too comfortable. Uh, dang it. There we go. There. And a few more here. Perfect. Alright, so the next stage, will be, the next step will be, we're going to be adding in a few little uh, plants and stuff like that, just to fill up the area down the bottom. And definitely some more grass, just from the bone meal and stuff like that, that'll be good. To just kind of fill this in, because this one's not like that other park that we've got over there, where it's just there for our anchor, which is a little statue thing. I think we should, um, we should make this one look a lot more natural. I think it just a kind of little bit of a little bit of nature left in here if you get what I mean So the what I want to do is I want to put this one in and then I want to put in also a birch tree as well before we go into the stuff that I just spoke about uh, where are you There you go good crisis averted all right there 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 We'll just kind of go a little bit crazy with these and here And we've still got a few more. How does that look? I know we use birch, but uh, we didn't have many oak. Uh, we'll have to take out a few every now and then, but that's alright. We'll do that in a at a later stage. That needs to be into the ground, and now we can get going. Maybe we can put a little bit of a log to the side as well, just like here. There. Come on. Perfect. Alright, so we've got that now. We can also go and put in some of the green stuff. So if we go here, green box. Get this one out, and we should be able to get a few of... Ooh, what are we going to do? Red? 
maybe a few reds. That's not red. Uh, red ones there, rose bushes, and maybe some. Oof, I wouldn't I wouldn't want to put too many colorful colors So I think we can go with just the the whites Maybe even that little pink might just be a bit too far off with the pink tulip because uh, we're using the reds So we'll just do one there Ooh, uh, I think we have to go do this ground kind of flat here and then just a little bit above Yeah, like that. I uh, will do one there one there a red one at the back like there and maybe a tulip or two Okay, good then it's down to this spot here for a bit of bone meal And I think we'll be pretty much done with that garden and we can just put in a window for that. Oh, no You know where I've left my bone box. I've left it on the other side of the city. Well, not other side in the middle So we'll jump down right around here uh, Yes, please can I just get on the platform? There we go grab them and maybe grab some more of these so we're about to run out anyway. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and pop in some of these. How did I not take damage? <laughs> okay, good. So crafting while flying. That actually doesn't look bad, that tree. I like it quite a lot. So if we do that there, maybe break out a few of them. Big one there. Uh, I don't know why we have stuff missing there already. I must have just missed it. There we go. That there. There. And we'll get rid of some of these. Perfect. Now let's have a look. Yeah, that looks like a little natural area. Now the next thing we're going to have to do is quickly sleep. Where's the nearest bed? I think it's over here. We'll run up here. Uh, as I said, I wanted to get some windows into that building. And we can do that now quickly because I will definitely... Come on. As if it's not night time yet. It's got to be so damn close to night time. Yeah, so if we get some windows in there, I think that'll be great. And we can also then, I guess, that'll be perfect for our uh, thumbnail, which are probably going to be taken of that one, which will be spot on. And I'll just get the rest of it done because it's all just much of the same thing when you get into it. Uh, oh, I don't have any ender pearls. We'll have to do this the old-fashioned way. Down here. And out. Perfect. Okay, so for this window... I'm thinking maybe we'll do a single window a bit higher. I'll show you where I am mean over here. So if we do one round about there, just like a three or two high window. And in fact, I think we'll do two and I'll show you why we'll do two. If we use some of these, but I'll just get a bit of space. Uh, use some of the... I've got some on me. Some of those, and maybe if we grab out some stained glass here, not that color, we we'll need the cyan. I swear I had cyan stained glass. Okay, never mind. We'll put that in at a later stage. Uh, we might just grab six of those and make some normal stained glass, normal uh, glass panes for now. There we go. All right, so what I want to do for this window is I want to just put in a little one right over there, as I say, and we'll have to get up with those quickly and nice and easily pop that in there we'll take that one take that one take that one and a simple window which I think I might put some shutters on the side that actually gives me an idea if only we had a solid block over there that would be great if we could just put a solid window block in but sadly we don't have that like kind of that little thing because that would be great for shutters because it looked like the windows open if, if you saw what I just did there Ah, uh, those over there. Perfect. Perfect. Now we'll we'll be able to have our window. I wanted to put a balcony in. I think we still could. Maybe a little bit lower if we did want to. But you see there? That, that's looking good. That's looking good. And now as soon as we do this extra little, one little simple piece, this will make a world of a difference to this window. Look at that. Uh, no, maybe I shouldn't hold shift. This will already be looking better. Let's check it out. Yep, definitely better already. And then to just kind of frame this wall off, I uh, I didn't want to do this, but I think we might have to just to make it look a little bit uh, a little bit better. Something like that. Yep. And then to complete it for sure, stuff down there, and it looks like it's being supported. I would actually prefer a few cobblestone walls in there. I think that's that's looking all right. If you ask me, I think that's looking all right. So now that is pretty much this done. I've also kept this spot in here. At first I thought it was, uh, I was like, I don't know about it. 
But I don't mind it, you know, I think having this little thing in here will be kind of interesting. I think we should have done it in a few more builds, where we have like, little things where you can stick stuff on there, and I think it'll be a great addition to this place. But for today guys, I think that will pretty much do this episode. Uh, we've got a little bit of uh, progress done on this side, and I want to maybe, as I say, move to the other side in the next episode. I feel like we need to get going on some stalls. So, I've either got a, on my mind right now, I've got that flower store that we were talking about, and I really love that idea. I think it's a great idea. We also could build ourselves a uh, larger shop, because I think these will have to be on a corner type shop together, like two separate shops next to each other. Also, a grocer, because we've got ourselves a fruit shop, which is out on the other side. We can maybe just fly over there. Uh, we've got ourselves a fruit shop, which is a melon shop. We've got a carrot shop, and now we just need a shop that sells every one of those veggies and fruits and stuff. So we'll gather up some apples. So there's our melon stall there. That's just a stall. It's got a little bit of melon juice on the this piston there, uh, which is a table. <laughs> and what I'm thinking of is maybe over here we can do this part here. Will be obviously that'll just be stuff. Uh, this could be a shop in here on this corner, which could be our flower shop. We could have our grocer on the other side here, so we can have a corner. And I'm picturing corner shops. I'm not. I'm not doing a flat front shop. I think we'll have some nice diagonals here, and we'll have these, these two working in together. Uh, tell me what you think about them. Tell me which one you want to see built in the next episode. Perhaps we will be able to uh, get a little bit of a vote on that before I get started. If not, I'll just pick. Uh, I'm not really too fussed with either one. I like them both. But for today, guys, that will be this episode. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.